Our NVHR unit at Denby Dale will be recovering 92% of the heat generated within the building through solar gain, human activity um, and um, electrical goods and so forth, lighting. And it does this by passing outgoing air through a heat exchanger past incoming air, transferring the heat but without mixing the stale air with the fresh air. It does this by having vents into so-called dry rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, landings, and extracting from the so-called wet rooms, which are the kitchen, bathroom, utility rooms. And the house is balanced in that way. Um, and in our case, we've got gaps underneath the doors, so you have circulating air through the house. The outcome of this is that you have absolutely fresh air everywhere throughout the building but you're only losing 8% of the heat that's generated. It might be asked how much energy the actual MVHR unit uses. It has two fans, one to drive incoming, one to blow the stale air out. These together on the Demidale house only use 15 watts, which if you think of a light bulb at 100 watts is very minimal. For an MVHR system to get full benefit, you need an air tightness at 50 pascals of at least three. Once you get down to those levels, you know that you're using the, the heat exchanger at its uh, full capacity. The MVHR system that we've used at Denby Dale is a very, well, I think, robust design. We've used the best equipment that we know of. Of course, a lot of the know-how comes from Europe. The actual unit itself is a Powell Thermos 200, which is 92% efficient. Um, we've managed to be able to put that in the garage, which allows us space for maintenance and access, along with the MVHR unit, of course, is the ducting system. In some ways, that's more important because that's there for the life of the building. And to actually replace it would be pretty major, having to rip up floors or a ceiling or whatever, wherever you've taken the ducting in a building. We use a rigid galvanised steel system, which gives us assurance that all our passageways are uh, fully open, they're not crushed as some of the flexible ducting systems are. But all systems have their place. We've managed to get rigid galvanised steel in because we've used the timber I-beam first floor, giving us um, 300 millimetres gap, which means that we can run all over the house relatively easily. I'm lucky enough to um, have a colleague that designs MVHR here at Green Building, Andrew Farr. He has to put this, um, cal his calculations through the PHPP. Part of the ducting design, or good ducting design, is uh, noise levels. This is another concept that people have, that um, MVHR is, well, noisy. As long as it's designed carefully, particularly with the ducting having um, silences or attenuators in, in the right place. We use a CAD program which actually designs all of these aspects in and tells us where we have to put in the silences to make sure the decibels are really low, far lower than um, the normal central heating boiler, for example.